Hey, I'm Mark Romanak with Precision Trolling Data. If you're an avid troller, you've probably already come to the conclusion that things like line counter reels are a very important piece of equipment to have on your boat. The problem with line counter reels is that they're factory calibrated for just one line diameter. And as fishermen, of course, we're using lots of different line types and line diameters. But no worries, because any line counter reel can be calibrated to any line type or line diameter that you choose. The first step is to pick the line type, the line diameter, and the brand of line that you want to use and fill your reel to capacity. But don't cut the line off the spool. Leave the line attached to the spool. The second step is you're going to have to measure in your backyard a predetermined distance, and we recommend 100 feet. The reason we choose 100 feet is because it's approximately right in the middle of the average lead length that we use while we're out in the water trolling. The easiest way to accomplish this is to measure off exactly 100 foot, use a couple stakes in the ground, and on those stakes we use an offshore clip just to hold the line in place on the stake. Once you've got your stakes in the ground, you're going to take the line from the end of your reel, attach it to the offshore release, zero out your line counter, and then walk away exactly 100 feet to your other stake. When you consult your line counter, if that number is under 100, that means you're going to have to take line off from your reel. On the other hand, if that number is greater than 100, that means you're going to have to put line onto your reel. And that's why you don't cut the line from the spool until you get the reel calibrated. The process of calibrating the line counter reel is a trial and error process. It takes a few tries to get the perfect amount of line on your reel so they're calibrated. When your line counter reads 100 and you have exactly 100 feet of line out, that reel is perfectly calibrated. That's the way we do it at Precision Trolling Data. And if you want to get the most out of our data, you need to do that with the rods and reels that you're fishing on your boat.